G'day guys, how are we doing? Welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Today, we're gonna talk about the top three worst crimes Lucy has ever committed. Alrighty guys, so clocking in at number three, the third worst thing Lucy has ever done, the third worst atrocity she's ever committed, is about a year ago she found a dead rat in the park. And now this is absolutely disgusting because when she found it, she then decided to grab it, start consuming about half of it and then getting the other half and parading it around the park. Now this isn't the worst part. The worst part was is one, she didn't listen to any commands because she got the way, a way better offer. Two, she paraded it around the park in front of everyone. And we already have, we have a reputation of having a very switched on, highly trained dog. And third, everyone was laughing at us and Lucy just ran off and did her own thing, consumed literally half the rat, flicking bits of rat everywhere. And then she had all the dogs in the park chasing her. It was absolutely freaking ridiculous. So I was obviously worried about a few things there. One was stomach bloat because she was consuming food while eating diseases. Um, she was completely covered in rat guts. Now this thing was like the size of a small cat or possibly even a small freaking human. So it was definitely up there with some of the most disgusting things that she's ever, ever done. But all is forgiven, all is in the past. Um, that night, no, we didn't snuggle in bed together. I can assure you of that. Alrighty, so coming in at number two, is Lucy decided to remodel the backyard for us. Um, she was obviously just trying to be a big help, but this included um, tearing down half of the fence, tearing up all of the plants in the backyard, completely deconstructing everything. Are you having flashbacks? Eating the stairs, chewing and eating the entire rail, so like, if you were to fall off the stairs, you would fall about two meters and probably break an arm. And she also chewed the side of the house and a hole through the back door. Now, this was absolutely freaking crazy because this all happened practically in one day. Um, I thought we were squared away, we were all over it, all over all of her training. Lucy had a big walk that morning I had to go to work, beautiful day, popped her in the backyard, and I got home, and it honestly, I thought we were robbed, and the house was trashed, but only the backyard. It was absolutely weird. And Lucy is already hanging her head in shame because she remembered how traumatic it was for everybody, wasn't it, Luce? <laughs> but no, seriously, guys, this shit's gonna happen, so, just be aware that you can do, no matter what you're gonna do with your German Shepherd, no matter how much training you do, these pups are going to really test you. And another massive thing about this, it is if you don't catch these guys in the act, you can't discipline them. You just have to take it on the chin and keep moving forward because that is just life. And the most worst and heinous crime, the number one spot, the worst thing Lucy has ever done in the history of this household is... Okay, so I've just got to set the scene. So, Flick and I both got home from work at 11 o'clock at night. Oh, I think it was a Monday night. And she was just, just over... She's around about one year old. And we're going through a bit of a temperamental stage with Lucy at that point. But nothing we couldn't handle. So we come home, let Lucy out of her crate. She goes out the back, does a wee, normal things, kisses, hugs, happy to see us. And then I let her into the bedroom. This is nothing out of the usual. She, this is around the time when she started spending a lot of time on our bed. Anyway, I walk into the room and there's a giant wet patch on the bed. A giant, I'm talking a freaking tsunami on our bed. Lucy decided to take the world's biggest wee on our beautiful, exuberantly expensive king size bed. So, yep, that was that. Um, that was all we wanted after working a massive 16 hour day after getting home at 11, 11 o'clock at night. So yes, Lucy wasn't too popular that night, but so this is what happened after that. The first thing is I didn't physically catch her 
at the split second she was doing it. So like, I couldn't address it. I couldn't correct her. I couldn't punish her for that heinous crime. Um, so what happened then, <laughs> she got dismissed to her crate pretty bloody quick. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is one of the only times I sent her to her crate for being naughty. Um, so she wasn't welcome on the bed after this for a little while, for at least the next week. But what happened is the mattress had to get dry cleaned. That took three days and then it took three days to dry. So the house was tipped upside down because we are in the world's smallest house for the world's biggest bed. So that had to air out um, after being dry cleaned. And then Flick and I both ended up on the couch behind us. I'm six foot three, she's five foot two. I'm a hundred kilos, she's 50 kilos. She got the short end of the straw with the tiny bed. So we ended up, I had, I had three nights of great sleep. Flick had probably the worst nights of sleep in the world. That's all right. Lucy slept soundly in her crate. That was all good. But um, once everything was all back together and the, the beds remade and you know bygones are bygones, the guy who did fix our mattress for us, who dry cleaned everything said, there was one small problem with this that you're going to encounter every now and then. And we have encountered it before. So there's something to do with the urine inside of the material of the mattress and something to also do with the, with the Australian summertime humidity where the humidity reactivates little cells in the urine um, and it reactivates the odor. And that is a permanent thing now. So a couple of times a year, we get reminded and graced with this beautiful aroma of Lucy's urine <laughs> in our house. And it generally is when the house is all closed up and it's you know a 40 degree Celsius bloody day, the humidity's close to 100% and like it is ringing wet. But you do have those days in Australia more often than not. So a couple of times a year, we do get graced with that smell. So anyway guys, I think that tops it for Lucy's number one worst and most heinous crime she's committed in this household. Um, I wanted to share these little things with you because like there's a lot of comments and we get a lot of amazing feedback from you guys. Like Lucy's the most amazing dog in the world. She's so well mannered and you know, an amazing, amazing dog. She, Lucy is an amazing freaking dog. I'm not gonna lie to you. We are blessed. She is an incredibly um, driven, well tempered German Shepherd physically, aesthetically, like mentally sound. Everything is perfect. We couldn't ask for a more perfect dog. We truly have been blessed. But it's taken a lot of work to get to this point as well. And there has been more, it's been more rough sailing than smooth sailing. Like especially in that first 12 months, man, there, was a low, there was a lot of hiccups, a lot of learning for both myself and Flick. And like, I know you see on social media this fandangle like, life and, and it is like we have an amazing life and Lucy's an amazing dog but I want to also share the bad things so the, the negative things like and I want it to be transparent because I don't want people just to get a German Shepherd and think bang this is awesome this is sweet it's going to be just like Lucy because that is not the case you're going to have to put the work in to get your own version of Lucy um, and then it's going to be slightly different again so guys I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a comment below. What is the worst thing your dog has ever done? Please let me know. That'd be hilarious. Make me feel better. Make Lucy feel better because she feels bad about it. But you know what, guys? Bygones are bygones. Shit happens. So when it does happen, correct it where you can, address it where you can, and just move on. Um, guys, anyway, again, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit post notifications. Please don't forget that one, it's super important, and we'll see you in the next video.